Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Frankly speaking, as it is, let's just be objective. As it is, it is, the, it is a, another example that I would give you. When I have a grade 12 certificate, a fake grade 12 certificate, I present it before ECZ. I have a fraudulent grade 12 certificate. And on the day of nomination, I present it. I present it. It is not the job of the examination council to start checking, is this... Yeah, is it true that you, you were at Chifubu Secondary School? It is not the job of ECZ. It is not the job of ECZ. They will receive all the documents. And as long as those documents satisfy, they will give me, they will consider me as a, a valid candidate. Until somebody says, uh-uh, that document that you presented is fraudulent. Until such a time, that is when I can be disqualified. That is when I can be disqualified. So Vanelli Muti, much as yes, she may even know that this situation, whatever, whatever. But technically, 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 you, it's, you can't falter her. I can assure you this. You can take Vanelli Muti, Kukoti, whatever, whatever. I can assure you, Vanelli Muti will never be found wanting. This is just the truth. This is just the truth. But Nendu Muti will never be found guilty because at this point in time, the issue is locked in court. It is locked in court. Locked in court. And Vanelli Muti, it's not a job to start investigating. It is not a job. If the letters which were presented to court, they are fraudulent. Ku, ku, ku parliament, they are fraudulent you have to report to the police and the police will investigate. The problem which is here now is that when you bring in the police, it is already too late. Why? Because you have already taken it to court. Even the police will be stuck. They can't investigate the matter. How are they going to investigate a matter which is in court? You should be very, you know, calculative a PF. You should be very calculative. Don't use your emotions. Because now, even if you go to police, at the police investigate, the police will not investigate because the matter, you took it to court, you should have taken the case to the police first. There is a person that is masquerading as a PF president and is signing letters. These are not our headed papers. Go and arrest him. The police would have investigated. But at this point in time, you have locked up the case in court. You have locked up the case in court. Taking Nelly Muti to court we will not hold water because Nelly Muti is not an investigator. Nelly Muti receives documents. Even me, Panondi, I can write, I can put on headed paper, PF, whatever, whatever, whatever. Tomorrow I can take it to parliament. Nelly Muti is not, it's not a job to start investigating. It's not a job. You want, I mean, where did you see an investigative wing at parliament? No. No, there's no investigative wings at parliament. She doesn't have an investigative wing to go and check which letter, whatever, whatever, nothing. She doesn't have it. This is just the truth. Technically, yes, she may be aware. But like a business person who is taking advantage of the confusion, there is a confusion here, and this other one is offering cheaper. Well, for now, I'll work with this one until such a time it is resolved. 
by the time it is resolved, I mean, she would have done a business, she would have made a profit. That's basically what Vanelli Mut has done. She's, she hasn't committed a crime. Let's be honest. I'm talking to ordinary Zambians. She hasn't committed a crime, Vanelli Mut. She hasn't. She's not an investigator. Papada means tapawa. Investigate win tapawa. She received the letter and she chose to act according to, you know, what was before her. Yeah, she would have done it, she would have called and whatever, whatever, but she decided not to. She didn't commit a crime. She didn't. She didn't. Yes, all the letters that were signed by, by, by Mao Sampa, you can deem them fraudulent. But who deals with the fraud? It is the police. Uh, unfortunately, you go and report this matter to the police today. The police will not be able to investigate. Why? Because you have locked this case in court. You have locked it in court. I'm sorry, my brothers and sisters. I'm, like I said, I'm not here to propagate anyone's agenda. I'm just giving you the truth as it is. I'm just giving you the truth as it is. Telling Nelly Muti to say, we'll take you to court. She would, she would just laugh. You take her to court. And you say, yes, I received this. Your Honor, how was I supposed to know that this was fake? How was I supposed to do that? How was I supposed to do that? How was I supposed to do that? No, it was in court, whatever, whatever, whatever. I, I don't know about the court. I didn't hear about that. I didn't hear anything about that. No, 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 we are in court. I didn't hear anything about that. I didn't hear anything about that. Today, you can even go there and say, no, there is this court, whatever, whatever, until you get a judgment. Nelly Muti is clean. That's the truth. Hey, at politics, it's not that she doesn't know. We are talking about politics. We are talking about politics. And the right actions. From my point of view, the best action that should have been there is to report Mao Sampa of fraud. Is to report Mao Sampa of fraud. That would have been the best. Because the police would have investigated. Because you would have been pushing the police. If the police didn't act, then you would have gone for uh, an act of mandamus. To compel the police to act. But in this instance. So, that is how I see Vanedi Mut. Now, what about the registrar of societies? The registrar of societies has not, did not change the names of uh, office bearers. She was very right because there is a process that is followed. You don't just change names of office bearers of any society not just a political party, of any society. And those procedures, one of the procedures is to look at the constitution, how should leaders ascend into leadership? And how should they come out of leadership? It is contained in the uh, constitutions that we give. And therefore, the register of societies must have been going through the you know, the constitution of the PF to see if it was satisfied. Unless that is satisfied, there is no way she would change the names of the of, um, registrar of societies. So, whatever victimization that is going on, on the registrar of societies, by government, it is not right. It is not right. I know the registrar of societies, and some of you on social media, you are descending on the registrar of societies. My brothers and sisters, much as we want to do in Mingalato, much as we want to do in Mingalato, we should do it smart. We should do it smart. Much as I'm saying all these things from the PF point of view, government should not be seen to be tolerating lawlessness, should not be seen to be tolerating in Mingalato. Government can play in Mingalato, but they should not be openly seen that they are playing in Mingalato. 
I hope you follow me very well. I've spoken about Mingala, so that is going on between your PF and your UPN, your PF, Veka Veka. There is Mingala to there. But government should not be openly seen to be supporting Mingala to, to be supporting uh, unconstitutionalism. It shouldn't be seen like that. It shouldn't be seen like that. It shouldn't be seen. Vanelli Muti can escape that because Vanelli Muti is not an investigator. But government, government, I'm insisting, government should not be seen to be supporting Imingarato. Vanelli Muti, in her position, it is difficult for to, to impute guilt on her or lawlessness on her because she simply received the letter and acted on that. Whether she knew or didn't know, that is another issue. That is another issue. But government on this side, particularly the executive, they have clearly shown that they have supported this Mingalato. How? Number one, Mao Sampa held that convention right here at Mulungush Conference with heavy security. With heavy security. How did they do that? Government moved in to, to close the secretariat. How did they do that? What, what was guiding them? Later on, now we are seeing, you know, this, this uh, the Retrial Society has published the names given to uh, by Sage. And we are seeing the victimization of, 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 of uh, that officer. That is not good. Because today we were being cheated. We were being cheated. Mao Sampa made us believe that the names at Registrar of Societies have been changed. Even me, I believed that the names have been changed. But the Registrar of Societies, through the search, they have shown us that they have not changed, which is the right position, which is the right position. And immediately we see her being called to cabinet. No, that clearly shows victimization. And this is why I'm saying it shows that government has got an interest. And this is not right. This is not right. Even if you want to support Mao Sampa, do it in such a way that, I mean, it is not too obvious. It is not too obvious. I am not supporting anyone and I'm not here damning it. Even the PF, the PF did Mingalato. They did. UPA, uh, MMD did Mingalato. UNIP did in Mingarato. But the way you do it, it should not be too obvious. It should not be too obvious. What you have done to the registrar of societies to victimize her the same day that the, 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 this search comes out, it shows that you, know, you are victimizing government systems. You are ignoring the statecraft. You are ignoring statecraft. You must have statecraft, meaning a skill to manage state affairs. A skill to manage state affairs such that you are seeing that you are following the law. Government is supposed to follow the law. It's supposed to follow the law. They, that's why all the people that get into government, the first thing is that they, they swear to uphold the law. To uphold the law. So you cannot be the people that, the first thing that you do, you go and swear to uphold the law. And you, you, you arbitrarily ignores the law. That is wrong. That is very wrong. And it's very dangerous. I'll tell you this. I am not refusing. I'm insisting. There is a mingalato and whatever, whatever. And yes, this mingalato, they are there. They are just naturally anywhere in the world they are there but a good government plays in Mingalato very sub, 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 subtle very subtle they you, you you won't see it they are very clinical but by you PND I'll tell you your Mingalato is messy your Mingalato stinks no, 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 guys, no.
You don't do that. You don't do that. You don't do that. I'm telling you, I will be, I will not be a good citizen if I don't tell you this. I will not be a good citizen if I don't tell you this. Play Mingalato, but be systematic. You don't play Mingalato so carelessly. So careless that anyone can see. Why have you recorded on the same day? On the same day. And by the way, those, those registra those uh, uh, that list that you have seen, he, any Zambian can go and search on any political party. Any Zambian, even on economic and equity party, tomorrow you can go and do a search. You pay a small fee and they will give you. You can search even for companies. Any company in this country, you can go to Pakra, pay a small fee. I think it's about 110. Pay a small fee and they will give you who are the owners and so on and so forth. So there is nothing secretive. Uh -uh. It is something that anyone can do. Even at the Ministry of Lands, you can go, you know, do a search on any property. It is, it is just there. So there is nothing wrong in somebody going to check to say who are the owners of PF. There is nothing wrong. There is nothing wrong. But the moment that this thing comes, this document comes out, we see a letter to say you are being called to. That is victimization. That is victimization. You can say whatever. It, it shows victimization. And it shows that you are aligned to, to, to Mao Samba, which is wrong. Which is wrong. The danger in government not seemingly following the law is that it encourages citizens to ignore the law as well. When those in government, when the government itself is seen to be ignoring the law, other people will also follow suit. They will ignore the law. So please, follow the law. You can play Mingalato. There are ways that you can play Mingalato without being seen so, so blatantly that you're not following the law. Statecraft does not allow that. Can you employ that? Can you employ that? Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.